Today we are making creme caramel. Creme caramel. <laughs> this is one of the most classic, iconic custard desserts. We start with a hard sugar in the top, but then a custard that we don't have to bake. We're just gonna cook it, pour it in. It's foolproof, plant-based, easy, and there's no chance of an eggy aftertaste because there are no eggs. We're gonna start with what we call a dry caramel. A dry caramel is one where we're gonna sprinkle in the sugar into a hot pan, it's gonna melt, and we're gonna pour it into the tins. So for a dry caramel, we turn our pan up to a medium high heat. And the idea is that we're going to add a spoon of sugar to begin with, and then wait until it melts. It's gonna tell us that the pan is hot enough to start melting the sugar, which we'll add in gradually. If you're not confident with a dry caramel, feel free to add a quarter of the weight of sugar in water and make sure that all the sugar is wet, cook it over medium high heat until it starts to turn to a beautiful golden caramel. Now you can see that around the edge, it has started to melt. So as soon as this starts happening, we can start adding the sugar a teaspoon at a time. So we just want to use a swirling motion to let the sugar get around the pan. Now you want to start off slow, I think just bit by bit, and then once you're about halfway, you should be able to add the rest in. And remember, you want to use a white, uh, purified, super fine caster sugar. Uh, this is important because the molasses content in a raw sugar will burn much faster. Now, never want to stir wet sugar. You just want to leave it in the pan to cook out. But if your sugar started to caramelize, you're not really at risk of it crystallizing. We want to stop when, if you stick a spoon in, it is a beautiful golden color. If you go too dark, it can taste a bit bitter. So once it's at that beautiful kind of golden color, we can pour it. So just enough to cover the bottom of each mold. So now we can leave these aside to set. As soon as that comes to room temperature, that caramel will solidify. Now we can cook the custard. All right, to prepare our custard base, we're going to add our milk to the pan along with our sugar. And then I'm going to add my custard powder and cornstarch together and, and our milk. So we just want to stir these together and this will create a slurry. So we just want to make sure that there are no lumps in it. If there are, those lumps will cook out and become like tough bits. We also pass it through a small sieve. This will make sure there are absolutely no lumps in it. I want to scrape the seeds and add the vanilla pot to infuse in the milk. So just using a knife, I'm cutting halfway into the pod. So not all the way down, though some people like to do that as well. Then I'm going to open up the pod, um, use the back of the knife and scrape. This is just going to give us an incredible vanilla flavor. So I've added my vanilla pod, sugar and milk, and I'm just going to bring those to a simmer. And then to the side, I have my lump-free starch mixture. Now I like to use soy milk because it's creamier. You can get some varieties that have an amazing creamy neutral flavor. So once that's been brought to a simmer, I can take out the vanilla pot and actually give that a quick rinse, let it air dry, and then use it to make a vanilla powder. So once that has come to a simmer, we can just reduce the heat to a low to medium. And then I'm going to add a little bit of our mixture of our hot milk, and then add all of the uh, starch mix back into the hot milk. So you'll notice that it starts to thicken up you want to keep stirring this until some bubbles start to come to the surface to really cook out the starch. I mean, looking at this, it is so silky, glossy, smooth. Now we just take it off the heat. We can add our coconut oil 
and whisk it in. Now, what will happen is you might start to see that the texture uh, looks like it's separating as the coconut oil melts very quickly. And we want to keep mixing it until it starts to stick to the edges of the pan. That means that all of the coconut oil has been absorbed into the custard and we're good to go. For our comb caramel, we can pour it directly into the mold. I find that you don't need to oil the molds because once this turns to syrup, it kind of pushes up and then releases the custard really beautifully. And that will level itself and we can put it in the fridge to finish setting. In order to release the crumb caramel from the mold, you just want to gently pull from the top around the edge and then tipping it to one side to leave an air pocket at the top, we turn the plate and then invert it. And that will release the crumb caramel. We have a silky, just set custard, beautiful caramel syrup. This one is perfumed with a lot of vanilla, but you could go nuts with infusions of fresh herbs, spices, alcohol, whatever you like. So enjoy. <laughs>